I guess it's time for our main event now. Man, it's been a great CTV so far here at In The House, here at the Easy B Memorial Arena here in Compton, California. And for those who don't know me by now, I am Hector Diaz. And I'm still nervous here, you know, this is my first day on the job here, doing commentary here next GWO. I wasn't expecting to make my debut so, so soon, but, but uh, we're, we're here at our main event now for the XCW Ultimate Title. And here comes Sherman. And well, this young man, I mean, he has a chance to, to make history here. The first ever XCW Ultimate Champion. From, from what I know, he's... He is the ACW World Mayhem Champion, and this guy definitely has a lot of talent, and all the tapes I've seen him from this ACW match was he's very impressive. There's no doubt about that. But Extreme Tony, on the other hand, I mean, he does have a history in CAW. I mean, from what I see, I mean, this is my first day here. If you can't tell from my voice, I'm, I'm very nervous here. Here he's going to tell the tape. Byron Sherman head out there. Six feet tall, 208 pounds from Los Angeles, California. Either one of these two men can win the match. This is a history making match is about to happen. I just can't wait for it to, to get started. You know, I was told that I was to make my debut on the next episode of Charge. But it'll be. Spanish commentary, I know, and Trent Tony has told me that no CAW league out there has ever done a CAW show in Spanish commentary, and I'll be the first one to be doing it, you know. Very nervous. I mean, we've had a lot of debuts. I mean, the debut of Carnage, the debut of El Toro Extremo, and, this, and, the, and the last match we had, that was a pretty good match between James Lionheart Morris and the Great D. You can say that match between Lionheart and the Great D was a classic, no doubt about it. And those two really went at it. The Lionheart came through and became the, the first ever pro champion, so congrats to Lionheart. And now here comes Extreme Tony, former WWA world champion, also former TWF wrestler. Extreme Tony, only 23 years of age. His birthday is coming up in a few days. He's about to turn 24. There he is, the Playmaker Extreme Tony. 5'11", 283 pounds from San Diego, California. One thing Extreme Tony told me is he has a vision. And one of the, the vision is, is, is to take CW to the next level. I know there's been a lot of late CW leagues in the past, like no DQ CW, like TWF. Another one that comes to mind is the Path and ACW. But Extreme Tony says he wants to take XGW up to the, to, the, to the heights that CW has never seen before. But let's see how this match goes. First one, one on Wednesday match will be the first ever XW Ultimate Champion. Let's see as we saw the referee holding the title. As the fans are anticipating this main event, that, man, I can't wait for this main event to get started. Man, for the biggest title in XGWL. Now you see there, both of them shaking hands, showing a lot of respect for each other, as they should. And these two are friends. Both of them have held world titles before in other CAW leagues. And here we go, this match started our main event of the evening. We're in the house. And what an elbow by Sherman. And Extreme Tony gained back up. And I don't know all the name of the moves and what a takedown that was. I'm on to learn what that move is called, but that was very impressive. Just going a couple of knees to the midsection there. Now, Irish Whip. Takes him with that drop toe hold. And now, Headlock. And now, takes him down with a submission hold. And, wow, a lot of toughness there by Sherman getting out of that move. And now the headlock. So, takedown and driving his knees right to the leg of Sherman. And 
The one thing that that Tony doesn't need to know is that he has to slow down Sherman in order to get get a, a better advantage here. A couple of elbows there and blocking that one, driving his knee to the back of Sherman. And the young 23-year-old Extreme Tony with that snap suplex. And then he has to use his, his size and power to his advantage because because I don't think he's going to do too well against the much faster Sherman in that. But wait, what's this? Oh, wow. Very impressive for someone the size of Extreme Tony. A head scissors take them from the corner. And someone that weighs 280 pounds, that's very impressive. And what a takedown there by Sherman. Now, take reversal and what, a, what an elbow. Another elbow by Sherman. And the one thing... Oh wait! Oh what a back suplex! The one thing that Sherman has the advantage of his match is his, his speed, his quickness, and his experience. And now Extreme Tony again with that head scissors takedown. The one advantage that Extreme Tony may have it would be maybe because he's young and he has uh, some power in him. But his disadvantage is that he's so young, he's like 23 years of age. I know he's held a world title before, but that's good. That inexperience is going to cost Extreme Tony if he doesn't, if he doesn't uh, get, it, get it together here. And Irish whip there to the corner. Now another Irish whip to the opposite corner. Oh, driving his knees to the face of Extreme Tony. And Sherman with the advantage right now. And with another snap suplex. And now with a different submission move. Extreme Tony showing shades of of a very sound technically sound wrestler. And now going with a Boston Crab there. I mean you don't see too many young guys doing moves like that. But Extreme Tony never just showing us something here with moves like this, I mean, I, I mean, one guy that, that kind of reminds me of with these kind of moves is kind of like a Bret Hart or, or kind of like a, like a Dean Malenko of some sorts. And what a, what an arm takedown. Like, the Sherman, I mean, his style is so different. His style is more like an Eddie Guerrero, more, more like, uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And what a takedown there by Sherman. I mean that so two completely different styles here that, that are just going at it. And now headlock there by Extreme Tony. And sweeping the legs. And again we're focusing his attention on the arms. Now what we're gonna see here. Punch it, another punch, and now counter. And what a takedown, and now with another arm submission. And now going back to the legs. And the stomping on that leg, and now back to the arms. I think Extreme Tony's doing a very smart job here in isolating the the limbs. Try to take a little speed and the punching power. Oh, what a what a bulldog! And now the cover. Only well, gets a one count. I think it's a little bit too early for a pinfall. And now driving his knees to the leg of Sherman. Now, that was an arm wrench. But Sherman, oh wow, what a counter to an Inziguri kick. I mean, I do know some wrestling moves, and, and what a roundhouse kick. I mean, I do have some experience with some Mexican wrestling with a local Lucha Libre promotion down in Mexicali, so yes, I do know some wrestling. What a drop toe. Now, counter, but mostly 
I was just a, a news anchor down in down over there in the next valley. And, and what a bulldog there by Extreme Tony. Just driving the knee to the to the back of the head. And now Extreme Tony. Oh, nicely done. Ahora. Oh, Sabuske, that's a very sound style. Just, just continue going after now. Now the sharpshooter. And just trying to make sure to submit. And this is another other names that 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 move has been called, not just a sharpshooter, but Scorpion Deathlock. It's another name of that move. And uh what a counter there by Sherman. Oh, what a reversal. Oh, what a kick. Oh, nicely done, that backflip splash. I don't know what that's called, but that was very impressive. What a drop kick to the knees. I mean, a good striking for Sherman. And he is going to have to, other than using his speed, he is, is going to have to work on the legs as well. Because that's that well, the Street Tony does have a lot of leg power. To lift them up and over with those suplexes and now. A full Nelson. Nowhere for Sherman to go. Is he gonna hang on? Or, or will he tap out? And Amigos he just able to break that submission hole. There's a lot of toughness in the and the fans are improving. And we're here closer to Sherman's home turf up in Compton and he lives up in, uh, in Los Angeles and now going to the top rope. What's he going for here? Oh my god! What a coast to coast drop kick! And now Sherman setting up Extreme Tony with a suplex rolling, rolling, rolling him over another one and again rolling, rolling him I'm sorry for me, touch twist, and there's the three amigos. Paying homage to the late great Eddie Guerrero with that one, and now going for the cover. One. And Extreme Tony kicking out. And now Sherman. Oh, getting Shermanated. This has got to be over. And now dragging him away from, from the ropes. Now the cover. One, two, and no. Extreme Tony kicking out, but... Got met with a drop kick as soon as he got up. And what a match has been so far. An extreme tournament with a drop kick to the arm. And now, pull it over DDT. Nicely done. I have a feeling that these two have a bright future in CAW. Not just here next to CAW, just elbows to the, to the chest of Sherman. And what is this? Oh man, San Diego stretch. Oh man, look at that submission movement. Sherman able to slip out of that one. And now setting Sherman up and over and punching him off the ring apron. And now this one's going to the outside, right near my announce table. Has him up over his shoulders. Hits him with that Samoan drop. And they're already starting to count. And now, come on, don't do that. And, oh, what the? Oh my god! Drop toll! And Sherman went face first right through my announce table. Oh my god! You've got to be kidding me. That was just unbelievable. And now, Sherman came back up. I don't shoot to the corner. And now, damn, Sherman using his quickness and, oh, Extreme Tony hits, hits him with a clothesline. Oh, driving his knee, Sherman's knee to the, to the canvas now with a takedown. Oh, and now Sherman getting back up. Take to the midsection. 
And the extreme tone in the corner. Reversal. And catches him. And nicely done again with that pet scissors takedown. And now going for the cover. One. And Sherman kicks out. Turns him to the corner. And oh man. He's got to capitalize here. And now locking up. Collar and elbow. Oh, what a punch. Now, has him up on the shoulders again. Hits him with another Samoan drop. And what's the dream Tony do? He's got to capitalize here. I don't think he should be wasting too much time here. I think he's that, that youth that... And he pays the price there with that elbow, with that drop kick. What a knee to the midsection of Sherman. And sending Sherman to the corner. So sets him up on that top turnbuckle. And now, uh, what's he going for? What? What a hurricanrana! Unbelievable! Don't tell him he's going to go for the sharpshooter again. And he got it. Will Sherman tap out? Or will he hang on? And the crowd's behind Sherman. Oh man, look at the toughness. And, and Sherman's slipping out of that submission hole, but at a price. And what a punch. Even the midsection. And head scissors takedown by Sherman. And now going for the cover. One. And Extreme Tony kicks out after that one count. And Extreme Tony again sweeping the legs. And now going with another submission hold. Oh man, just really wrenching at the neck of Sherman. Sherman's showing a lot of toughness. Oh man, another punch. And now Trim Tony going with a figure four leg lock. Oh man. A lot of toughness there by, by Sherman here. Here in Compton, California. For the Easy E Memorial Arena. Oh, even the midsection. Yeah, Sherman. What in the world? Oh man, this drove Extreme Tony's head down in the canvas. Now, takes him down with that fireman's carry. Now, submission hold. Man. Tony's just going deep in that submission playbook. Trying to make something happen here. Something's not working. Let's go with something else and out. Up in front of shoulders and oh! Oh wow! A reverse the moment dropping out. Going to the top rope. Picked up with that, with that elbow. Now the cover. One, two, and no! Oh! Kick out after two! And Sherman hanging in there. And what a kick. Oh man, what a momentum shift this this that move what was and now the cover. One, two, and kick out after two. Oh what a bulldog. And Extreme Tony trying to take the momentum back. And now going to the top rope again. And now. Oh wow, what a moonsault! Man, someone for his size to do that is impressive. And now, setting him up. Oh, Padre Popper! And now going for the cover. One, two, and three. And, and there you have it. We have ourselves the first ever XGWL Ultimate Champion. And what a match this has been. And we see here in the early part of the match, 
I mean, from the looks of, throughout the whole match, I see that, that this match has gone back and forth so many times. But that was very impressive. The Extreme Tony just sending Trevor right through my announce table. A lot of toughness that Extreme Tony has. And then this, the end of the match. The Padre Popper. And the cover. And Extreme Tony. Congratulations for being the first ever XTWL Ultimate Champion. And doing it here in Compton. And that's got to be a great early birthday present for Extreme Tony. And Extreme Tony has to be one of the youngest CAW champions out there. Extreme Tony turns 24 in a few days. And I know Tam is going to have a better birthday gift for Extreme Tony for winning the title there. So Tammy celebrating with Extreme Tony. What a victory for Extreme Tony. And now both and now Sherman back on his feet. Extreme Tony extending his hand and shaking hands there. Good sportsmanship. Sherman has nothing to be ashamed of. That was a, a tremendous match, tremendous effort. I know his time will come soon. Thanks y'all for watching XGWO in the house. This has been Edgar Diaz. Thank you for watching. Thank you all. Adios.